Hi everyone, my name is Erica Burry. I'm the director of the Atlanta Park System, and this is my daughter, Madeline. Madeline, and we are here to present you with So school has probably started for most of you, and uh, I'm sure many of you are stuck inside working and trying to teach your kids at the same time and ready to get the heck out of your houses. So a great day trip would be coming to Fossil Park. Uh, if you haven't been here before, we're located on Centennial Road, just north of Brent uh, and south of Sylvania Metamora in Sylvania. So easy to get to and um, you know, just a fun place to come, get dirty, hang out, look for rocks, find fossils, and uh, learn some stuff. So today I'm gonna just go through some quick, quick and dirty facts about Fossil Park, about the fossils you'll find here, and then also uh, show you some pictures and give you some ideas about things you can do at home that have to do with fossils. Madeline's at school, so she's not joining us for this portion, but you'll see her later. So just some quick info about Fossil Park itself. Uh, we are open on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until October 18th. And you can make reservations for uh, our block of time or more on our website. Just go to www.olanderpark.com and go to our Fossil Park page. That'll get you through that process. Um, we don't allow metal tools at Fossil Park. We do have restrooms. Uh, at the top of the hill, Fossil Park itself is located inside a, uh, an old abandoned quarry, so there is a little bit of terrain to walk through. I would suggest that closed-toed shoes are good, and also bring something to put your fossils in. An old toothbrush is great to brush, you know, the extra dirt off in, and um, it's always sunny down here. If the sun's out, it's going to be hot, so hats, sunscreen lots of drinking water, and you'll be set to have a great time. The fossils that we find here at Fossil Park are from the Devonian period, which was somewhere right around 365 million years ago. During that time, Ohio was actually underwater, and we were located um, because continents, because where their continents were near the equator. So if you think about the Gulf of Mexico, that would kind of be what it was like here in Northwest Ohio during that time. 365 million years ago is a long time ago, and most of the life at that time was focused in the seas, so all the fossils that you find at Fossil Park were, are sea creatures, so uh, shells, brachiopods, trilobites, you know, they're, they're kind of like a, an older relative of horseshoe crabs, crawl around in the bottom of the water, and uh, lots of corals, so all things that you would find you would have found in a coral reef. And actually some things are still around in slightly different forms with the exception of the trilobite, which is extinct. We don't find dinosaur fossils at Fossil Park. I know you're gonna be disappointed. Um, but again, because Ohio was underwater and it was a shallow sea, and also the dinosaurs uh, are much younger than the fossils that we find here. They went extinct 60, 65 million years ago, so the fossils that we're looking at are, are much, you know, almost 300 million years older. So much older. Um, but the fossils that you will find are awesome, and they're very portable. Most of them are, you know, quarter size or smaller, and a uh, hand lens is great to kind of look at them more closely and take them home and wash them up they'll be even easier to see, wash off the, the shale, that's what we have here. Um, the rocks themselves that you guys are looking through come from the quarries down the road here. This is a um, highly quarried area here, known for its shale, and also, you know, that it used to be called silica, and so if you were to Google silica shale online, you'd find a bunch of fossils from um, these quarries. There's a couple of specimens in the um, Chicago Museum of Natural History and the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History, so it's a pretty well-known fossil area. So how do you talk about what a fossil is? So a fossil, when I talk to kiddos, again, depending on their age, we always talk about how fossils were animals or plants that were alive at one time. 
And when they died, they got covered over with a lot of dirt and a lot of time and a lot more dirt, a lot more time and a lot more dirt, um, pressed them into fossils. So they absorbed some of the minerals in the rock around them and the dirt around them. And we find them when we either dig in the quarries or you know if there's a lot of erosion in a stream bed that's that's how we find the fossils they are only found in sedimentary rock so that's you know, that's your kind of fourth grade science there uh, your kindergartners aren't going to care about that um, and the shale that we find them in is very um, soft and easy to break apart but it's also very much the same color so all of our fossils are very gray um, it takes a little bit of concentration to find them and I always say that if your your best bet is to kind of stick in one spot for a little while and look really carefully through the through the shale that that you're sitting on so when you come down to fossil park you'll see some picnic tables and some big piles of dirt but don't be alarmed pretty much everyone goes home with something just takes a little time and patience and you know at, at the worst everyone will get dirty and have fun running around looking at rocks as these guys are so the next couple slides are pictures of some of the fossils you can find at fossil park and generally we have staff on site so that um, you'll be able to have some help in either finding or identifying the fossils but everybody's out here today having a great time. fossil activities that we are going to do today is making fossil cookies and this is a Martha Stewart recipe so uh, easy to find just google fossil recipes we'll also have it as a link um, in the comments on this video but we, we made the dough it's basically a walnut butter uh, powdered sugar dough very easy tasty and you take a little bit of dough you make a round circle. Menor, are you going to help me? You press it down with your palm after you've washed your hands, of course. So it's sort of uneven. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you can imagine Martha Stewart telling you it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we have some, um, I don't know, some stuff to make impressions with. So this is talking about molds and versus casts in fossil fossils. So cast is the item itself or the exterior of an item, so in our case a trilobite or a brachiopod, and the, the um, mold is the impression left by that um, animal in the dirt that it came out of. So we have uh, some Playmobil trees and some and shells in the box set. and a dinosaur. And all you need to do is dip your whatever you're going to do in flour and then press it into your cookie and there you have a dinosaur fossil cookie so this recipe makes about eight you want to press this one down for me buddy yeah sure with your palm makes about eight cookie 18 cookies perfect and uh it's pretty straightforward and easy to put together i don't want that to be too thin they're kind of like pecan sandies only with um Hey buddy, I need your help. Only with walnuts. And not perfect. Use a shell. Press that in there. Um, there were plant fossils, so we'll put some flour on those fronds. You know, we have Legos, so we could use Legos if we wanted. There's a nice frond fossil. Do you want to press the shell, this shell in? Yeah. That one? Oh, more flour on there. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Press it in there like that. 
perfect. So we'll, um, we'll make all these and then we'll show you the finished product. But pretty easy and straightforward and definitely tasty. So while you're eagerly awaiting your cookies to be finished, uh, you can do this activity, which is to make your own trilobite. This is um, not the one you find at Fossil Park. Ours is called Fakop's Reina. And so, um, doesn't matter though. This is just a fun activity. Cutting is, a little, this one is a little bit beyond Madeline's abilities, but you can get tape for me, right? Yep. Okay, I need one, two, three pieces of tape, please. So once you've cut your trilobite out, just use the edge there, yeah, good job. One, you can tape down the cheeks to the glabella. The glabella. The glabella is the part at the front. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did that not quite perfectly, but that's okay. And then we need to um, fold up the tail. So I'm going to just trim this tape here. And then fold up the tail. I need one more piece of tape. So pee. I'm getting the tape. So I, I knew we needed another piece. Oh, good job. Thank you. And there we go. There's our little trilobite. Choo, 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 choo. And make, move this. Choo, 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 choo. And we can make him roll up like this. A lot of times you find them rolled up. Um, that's how they die, just like a lot of bugs, pill bugs. Uh, but also, when you find why, trilobites, why when they're rolled up, they're dead? They die. Why are they dead when they've rolled up? Because that's how a lot of bugs die. They when they die, they just roll up. Oh, because that means they're dying. Sure. sure. Anyway, uh, trilobites you find a lot. If it's the if the trilobite, um, it was the actual animal fossil that you found, you'll find it rolled up. If it's just one of its molts, because it's an insect, so it molts multiple times, then you'll see it laid out flat. Find a lot of heads, a lot of heads and tails at Fossil Park and middle sections. Um, they're often fossilized black, so they're a little easier to find than some of the other fossils that you'll see, but um, still pretty rare at Fossil Park. So then you have your own trial bite. Cookies will be done in five minutes. So while we wait for our very warm just out of the oven cookies to dr cool off enough to eat, mm -hmm. we can tell you about our bath bomb dinosaur eggs that we made for, who did we make it for? Daddy. For daddy. And this recipe is from Hello Creative Family. It's actually the one recipe I've made that didn't dissolve in a pile of fizzy water. So I would suggest I'll put that up in the um, header here and, and show you what that um, link if is. But these were really awesome. Open, then they could see the dinosaur. We, we could, yeah. You want to get a hammer and do that? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, really fun, easy activity. They smell good. We were, we were super thrilled with them. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, our Fossil Park edition of Park It at Home with Erica and Madeline. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. Mm. You good? Mm-hmm.